everybody, what is up? My name is Astrocat and welcome back to Witch's Heart. Really quickly, I just wanted to say I apologize if I seemed a little bit less enthusiastic last episode. I was so tired because I was getting sick and I didn't realize it until obviously it hit me the next day. And then I was editing the recording and I was like, you are sneezing every like five to 10 minutes. How did you not notice this? But anyways, we're slowly getting better. It's the same thing if my voice sounds a little bit off. That's why I am perpetually stuck in a loop of being sick. Uh, and that actually was not meant to be a joke about time loops or loops in general. That was completely accidental. I'm so sorry. Anyways, with that out of the way, I just want to say that I completely forgot to share in the last video that, guys, the bonus stage intro, I talked about it so much. I went to the Discord and they just got chunks of text of me hyper analyzing like every little detail, not of the bonus stage intro, but just of the little scenes where like it would be the guy and then Claire would come in and like I hyper analyzed the heck out of that and so i'll put those up here for you guys to read um but those are the kind of the conversations that we have sometimes in the discord so uh if that's not incentive for you to join uh i don't know what would be so if that's your thing join us there it's great yeah other than that i just wanted to take a couple seconds to go over some of my thoughts and i wrote none of these down i wrote nothing down i just kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit of a look into where i'm at with like my thoughts what i'm curious about what i'm excited about all that fun stuff because i realize i talk about some of these things with people in the discord and then i forget to update you guys and it's yeah so obviously i want noel's father dead and i know he's already dead i realized the amount of times i was just like i want him dead um in the last video and i think i forgot that he's already dead because i believe he's one of the victims of the incident of 12 years ago which we still don't fully know what happened i'm definitely suspicious of of the ties between both the monster like it's like i i just have this section in my mind of lady dorothy noelle and the monster and the tie between the three of them i don't exactly know what's up i'm assuming we'll get some answers hopefully in the bonus stage if not then in the next i don't know i have no idea but that's something that i'm still very curious to learn to finally be able to like click all the pieces together because i feel like i have so many scattered thoughts and i forget which things are my theories and what are the things that like we know con concretely and so i'm like where do I draw the line and create like the actual timeline of events? What happened to Noelle and Sirius is absolutely vile. And I want, I want more than death for Nicholas Levine. I want him to suffer for all of eternity. I want him to go through every single loop that Noelle did. And I want him to suffer 9,999 times in the worst ways possible. I want nothing but terrible, terrible things for this man. I've been telling people I hate him more than I hate Gashu and Midori. And for those of you who have not seen my Your Turn to Die playthrough, that's a lot. Other than that, I know I think we still have some serious story to go, which I am more than a little bit excited to see. I'm very scared. It's just his bond with Lady Dorothy is so precious to me like that's so sweet and i just i want nothing but good things for him and my heart hurts when i think of him going through so much alone not obviously by choice but just everything that happened and just him being stuck in the mansion for so long it just it breaks my heart and so noelle's concern in i think his own scenario when he was like, if Sirius doesn't have the mansion, he doesn't have anything. It breaks me because it's almost putting Noelle in this position of Claire's happy ending means Sirius's downfall. Like Claire's happy ending is a tragedy for Sirius, is almost the picture that they're painting. And so Noelle is being forced to choose pretty much. And obviously he's going to choose Claire. I don't blame him for choosing Claire, but it hurts him and it hurts me to know that that decision will actively hurt Sirius. I'm hoping that my, my, honestly, the thing I hope for the most, perfect ideal ending, I know there's not a way for Noelle to leave the mansion, so honestly, I don't even really have it in my heart to hope for that. I, we still don't really know how Noelle died. I'm assuming it has to do with the incident 12 years ago when he like first went to hell. I guess, is that when he died? We'll need to figure that out. But the most ideal happy ending being even semi-realistic I can think of is everybody but Noelle leaving the mansion and 
I'm hoping that having Claire there will be enough for Sirius to know. Like, Claire can help Sirius to find a new way forward, I guess. And that might be a really optimistic outlook, but I'm hoping... I guess I just want good things for Sirius. Is that too much to ask? Of course, that's uh, acting under the assumption that Sirius is actually able to survive the bonus stage, which he doesn't have a very good track record of doing. So who knows in that regard? Ash, I'm very excited about Ash backstory, as much as I don't want to admit that. I want to know, I want to know his little sister. I want to know, because one of the things that if you guys read my really long ramble that I mentioned um, is that I, feel like there's like a tie between Ash's little sister, Lilia, I believe, and Claire, not in like an actual way, but in the like, I can imagine them being really similar. And I think that would make Ash's story that much more tragic. And so I'm really excited to actually get to see it eventually. And I know that that means that I'll come around to actually liking Ash and that ticks me off, but it is what it is. I think those are the main points I wanted to go over. I'm trying to remember if there was any other specific thing that I really wanted to bring up. I feel like there was. I don't know. My heart hurts for Noelle. I, th that's something that I stated in the last episode, but I feel like I didn't state nearly enough. Noelle's story is so freaking tragic and it hurts me so much. And he's such a good person. And in general, I just wanted to say that Claire and Noelle have literally been like checking off all the boxes for my favorite kind of ship ever. And to just the dedication he's showing is destroying me. And I've been trying to create an art piece to replicate that. And I haven't quite been able to pull it off yet, but just, oh my God. God, I want to capture their essence, put it in a little jar, and then just like occasionally take little bits out and throw it on a canvas in hopes of alleviating the pain that it brings me. Ah, oh, I love this game. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump in. I'm going to try really hard to get enough rainbow crystals to get the pictures. If not, I'm hoping we'll have more opportunities. I think somebody said that we could do that in Sirius's conclusion. Let's go ahead and jump into the game where we are with Willardo and doing demon requests. Hi, Rouge. And Willardo has locked himself out of his room. Are we gonna go check on Noelle's room? Because he said he didn't hear anything in here. Okay. Sure enough, I don't see sense any presence. All right, um. Yeah, it's because Noelle is not, in fact, in there. Hmm, I don't know where we're gonna be able to go because we can't use our broom right now because we are not, in fact, Claire. So let's go downstairs, see if we could talk to Sirius, or is that door gonna be locked too? Oh no, it's not. Hi, Sirius. Hmm, it's you. Need something from me? Well, maybe not from you. That Noel guy still isn't up. Hmm, so it seems. Perhaps he's still feeling unwell. Doesn't seem like Sirius knows where Noel is. He doesn't. Are you having fun? You're probably not, but you know. It's so funny because these two 100% give off the vibes of like the oldest of the group. However, they're not. They're the oldest and the youngest. And I just, I, 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 it's beautiful. I really love it. I love, love, love that Sirius is the baby. It's so funny. It will never not be funny to me. Because we can't go in there. So what demon requests are we supposed to do? I guess the attic? Probably. It's gonna be like the only place we can really go. I wonder if there's gonna be another one of those monsters. We have the comedy, the tragedy, and I th what was, I don't remember where the last one was. Hmm, okay, so we can go up. I guess there's probably gonna be some in here then? There's gotta be new ones somewhere. We still haven't found the thing for you. I'm assuming we've been in here with the deep sea bubble, right? Hey Ash, what's up? I actually, I drew him on the, the uh, whiteboard at work today. I erased him before any of the kids got there, but I- anytime I have a blank piece of thing- piece- oh my god, I forgot how much I hated that noise. I just draw... him. Oh? Is he sitting down? Is he supposed to sit down? Hi, Sirius. Can we use the lighter down here? Oh, we can. Nice. That seems suspicious. Oh! Wacky! 
That's so wild. I guess we can't go past there. Good to know that, that, that we can do that, though. Oh, what's this? Hi, Pippi the Forest Fairy. How are you doing? We gotta- there's something the- the frog doesn't like Pippi the Forest Fairy. Froggy or whatever. Also, I hate how they, like, introduce the broom to us. And then, like, in, like, two of the sections that the broom would actually be useful, you can't use it. Are you gonna be okay? Oh, you're winking! Hey, Aunt Service, baby! Yes, yo, I'm Pippi the Forest Fairy. Thanks so much for coming to see me, my dear devoted fan- Fan service? Well then, let's meet again somewhere. Bye-bye. Okay. I fell. But, you know, it accomplished the same thing. Oh, there's another door in here? How many doors are there? Fish? Let's see, we can go up there. Oh, hi friend! Okay, so there's a friend there. What's through here? Hi, it's uh oh I don't remember your name. Uh Coco, right? Hello. Here it seems you can use rainbow crystals to increase the stats of each character. <gasps> oh thank god. Mm, change your mind, huh? Okay, well good to know. Lucy! Hello, nice to meet you. My name is Lucy. Next to me is the sexy girl, Coco. Lucy's in charge of cuteness. Stop saying nonsense stuff and just do your job, okay? You're so cold, Coco. No way. Where did Lucy soon fit her these days? Whoa, so popular. Lucy's gotta learn from her. Your job. Yes, ma'am. My job is resetting your stats and training them for rainbow crystals. Oh. I just seek a trade for them. Interesting. I don't really want to do that, though. Whoa! I kind of don't want to take away series. Nothing. Barbizzi, located in the fantasy space of cocktails and wine, will apparently only be open when controlling Noel. Okay. So we need Ash or Sirius to come down here so that, uh... Well, actually, I don't actually know if they can read foreign languages. They can just read complicated-looking books. Hello, friend! Oh my, you're a tough one. When you think about the size of the sea, we're so tiny! Oh, you gave me a run for my money, little one. Yes. Welcome back, my sweet little child. Yeah! Ooh, actually, now that we have Noelle's friendship maxed, could we use our rainbow, our, our mystery fossils to hopefully get some, maybe, rainbow crystals? I think that was one of the prizes. I guess continuing with the story we go, I'll try and get a bunch of coins. That way, the next time we unlock, like, Sirius' minigame, probably, or Willardo's, I'm good at both of those. Um, I guess we will go knock on people's doors again? Locked, locked, locked. It's unlocked. Hey! Ash. <gasps> Milardo! Why are you in here? Hmm, well, for some reason the door was unlocked, so I entered out of simple curiosity. But, but, you did the same thing, Milardo, so that means you're complicit. Okay, bud. You can tell yourself that. At any rate, it would appear that Noelle isn't in this room. Where could he have gone, I wonder? So simply put, that note on his door was a lie. Oh, that what a bold lie! I'm shocked you would be the sword to do such a thing. Well, maybe he's got his reasons. By the way, Ash. Yes, what is it? The room is unlocked. That's a lie. 
<laughs> it wasn't open until just now. You unlocked it, didn't you? <laughs> Who can say? Well, no, we shouldn't dwell along in another person's room. Let's be heading outside. So does he know or not now? Because we know the contract is in the basement. Well then, I'll excuse myself. Are you just gonna let him go? I mean, I guess, what else are you supposed to do about it? I know why. Why the door was unlocked when we first came to the mansion. I wasn't expecting that plot twist. What? Also, I hate how good he looks even there. His hair looks so pretty. What the frick? I don't know why this is so shocking to me. Like, it makes sense that the mansion wouldn't have just been unlocked. But like, dude. Oh my god. I was watching as this guy unlocked it. Although Claire came right after that and muddled the issue. What a bold lie! I'm shocked you would be the sort to do such a thing. On the contrary, it's your lies that are so bold it's scary. He doesn't hesitate. Claire! Alright! How you doing, girly? Let's see if I can actually do your voice. <gasps> How are we continuing? Oh my god. Hey, Patricia! What's wrong? Why are you making that face, Claire? I wonder if Sirius hates me. Oh, hon. I mean, he kind of did, but... <gasps> Whenever I talk to him, like, he always looks so... looks displeased. He's never like that with Granny, though. Maybe he hates me. Are you sure that's not true? Patricia! Sometimes Sirius looks out the window with these really lonesome eyes. Oh. Oh, darling. I want to bundle him up. Sometimes he seems really afraid of something. But it seems like when he's with Granny, that's the only time he can feel real relief. Stop it. I don't really understand why, though. Because she knows. Yeah. Oh, I don't remember. I don't... Did I mention this in the video? I might have. Or maybe it was in the Discord. I don't know. Like, I forget where I put what information where. But at some point, I made the comparison. Oh, no, I have to see if it was in the Discord now, because I don't want to talk about it if I've already talked about it. Okay, it was in the Discord, so y'all haven't heard this ramble yet. Uh, I was screaming after the last section I played, especially about, like, uh, Lady Dorothy and Sirius, because obviously that's one of my favorite dynamics in this game. And one thing that I pointed out was... God, I'll put the screenshots of this up. I... This sounds like absolute gibberish. But the point that I was making was that while obviously the relationships are very, 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 very different, the core relationship between... Sorry, I got interrupted by sibling saying goodnight. Um, but as I was saying, um, the relationships are very, very, very different. But th at their core, the relationship between Claire and Noel has a lot of similar components to re the relationship between Sirius and Lady Dorothy. And obviously, like, one I ship, one I do not. But what I mean is that Lady Dorothy to Sirius is the same kind of person that Claire is to Noelle, in the sense that they will put their lives on the line for that person because that person is, like, their reason for living. That person gave them... That person took them from a horrible, terrible, tragic situation that they wouldn't have been able to recover from on their own, at least in their head, and brought them to a place where they could live again. So that person saved their life and they feel like they owe everything to that person. 
So um, one of the points that I made was um, that how mad Sirius gets anytime someone talks badly about Lady Dorothy. Like that's why he ended up like smacking Ash or tackling Ash in those two scenarios. Like that made him furious and it makes a lot of sense. And I'm not really mad at him for that because Ash was out of line and that is the person, without Lady Dorothy, Sirius wouldn't be there. He owes her everything in his head. And so to hear somebody talk about her like that, of course, is terrible because he looks up to her, respects her, borderline from what we've seen almost idolizes her because she saved his life. And so he wants to do anything he can for her. So to hear somebody talk bad about her, no way. And in the same way, Noel doesn't want anything to happen to Claire and he will do anything he can to make sure that doesn't happen. Like dying or like, like watching her die 9,998 times and still saying, let's go for the 9,999th. And I don't know, I just really, it's special to me. I don't remember what the original point was, but Lady Dorothy's relationship with Sirius is just... And like the fact that Lady Dorothy lost her daughter and now she just, she has a, she has a child again. And it's not the same. And it's just, I don't know. I just, the fact that they found each other when they needed each other most is just, it's beautiful to me. The fact that Lady Dorothy is so worried about him is also, cause it's not just serious, like following this lady who saved his life around and she's just like, okay, whatever. Like, I guess I have like a kid now or whatever. But like the fact that she so genuinely cares for him and wants the best for him and is worried about him. Kill me now because I can't take this. Oh, and I just read the dialogue that was on the screen, Claire, honey, no. But of course that is probably what Sirius feels like. I'm sure I must have stolen Sirius's place from him. Oh, hon. I wonder if there's anything I can do for him. Maybe the two of us aren't able to prop Sirius up like that, but even the smallest thing would be good. All right, that'd be nice if we could. And they're hanging out by the flowers. <laughs> oh, darlings. Yes! I was hoping this is where we were going. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, are we going back to baby? We have been able to spend more time with Lady Dorothy. Why? Because Patricia arrived. Claire and Patricia are inseparable. Though at times I get wrangled into their games, it's much more comfortable than before. Oh. Serious, um... Ah, oh, it's you. I'm in a very good mood right now. Huh? Are you really? Why? Ah, oh, I was just thinking how grateful I am you came to this mansion. Eh? Really? I was so glad. So cute. Yes, thanks to you, I have Claire dangling around me much less. Ah, what a relief. <laughs> what? Yes, there was nothing more annoying, you know. But now Lady Dorothy and I... How could you say that? Oh! Oh! <laughs> uh, Claire, she... She wants to be friends with you. She was agonizing about it. And yet, you... Oh. Oh, baby. Claire was worrying over me. Ever optimistic thought and thoughtless Claire over me. That's just nonsense. But wait. The reason she can act so bright and happy. Why is she can afford to be thinking about others like this? It's the same predicament he was in before. Or, or, I guess this is the before. But the predicament he's in now is the same as the one he was in before. She knew nothing. It's because she knows nothing. That's right. She should suffer at least a little. For her ignorance, let her suffer! Ignorance? I lost my parents to those witch hunts! 
Oh, Noel, honey, don't blame yourself. And so did she! Oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no! Because Lady Dorothy was specifically trying to keep that secret from Claire. Oh, honey, no! But she's not gonna be mad because he'll probably feel so bad. Just like me, her mother was killed in the witch hunts! She can only be kind to others because she doesn't know that! Claire! Yeah. Mom! The truth that Mom was gone... I did sort of realize it. But because Granny was desperately trying to hide it from me, I acted like I didn't know. Oh, baby! Oh, hon! Oh! Oh, darling! My heart is in shambles. I'm sorry. So you hated me that much. I won't ask you to play anymore. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, I couldn't stand to look at his face. Oh, Claire. Oh, serious. It appeared Claire had more in her mind than I realized. So my heart ached a little. More than a little, hun. Oh. Oh, that was so good. Oh my god. Oh, the babies. Struggling. Why am I remembering those days? That girl, she's just... Ah, enough of this. I'm in no mood for this today. Lady Dorothy. Who is it? Claire, hi. Serious? Huh? Wh why are you here? Um... Well, it's dinner time, so... Huh. Ah. That late already. S so um... Oh! Oh, he's so pretty. Oh, that's adorable! Ow! What? What are you doing? Doesn't suit you to look so gloomy. It throws me off if you're not smiling carefree. And again, even if you are, that irritates me in its own way. Uh, then what do you want me to do? How should I know that? Wh what? what I'll come to dinner right away. You go on ahead. Uh, understood. serious I love you so much okay no real reason to go up there I'm always waiting for like something to happen in the bathroom and then it doesn't oh wait can I go uh, look and see if I can read the books it was in it was in the room with uh, Coco and uh, I forgot her name gosh darn it I was trying the cutesy one what's her name what's your name hun Lucy okay about Lucy. A demon residing in this mansion is a human she was sacrificed for the prosperity of Okay, I'm so sorry. Well, that was pleasant. I'm so glad we learned that. Oh shoot. Oh. Okay. 
almost everybody's here. Let's go see if Ash and Willardo are also here. Or I think those were the only two I didn't see. I don't know. I definitely didn't see Ash. Is everybody else there? I definitely saw Claire. I definitely saw Charlie. Definitely saw Lime. Okay, Willardo is there. So it's just Ash and I don't see Noelle either. Help to try a bit of Ash's cooking. It, oh, it's Ash in the kitchen. I was getting hungry. Mm, smells good. Yeah, yeah. Looks tasty enough, but is there no seafood? Okay. Why is her text... Why is the text gray? Me coming out to meet him here is outrageous, surely. Okay. Ash, you in the kitchen? You are! Hey! I'll be done here soon. Has everyone assembled? No. Looks like Noelle still isn't here. Oh, it's not strange. I asked Miss Claire to go call for him. What? Really? Well, Claire called for him. He should be here soon, surely. Since it's Claire. Hmm, I've got my hands free now. I'll go call for him myself. So please, return to your seat, Sirius. You can all eat first without me. Eh, without you? Yes! I wanted to talk with Noelle about a thing or two, you see. Besides, I'm sure you're all hungry, right? Right, right. Fine. Oh boy, we haven't been to side ash in forever unless you can't side question mark, question mark, question mark. Noelle, hmm. I'm still unsure of what to make of him. Perhaps I'll use this chance to get closer. That is if you can find him. <gasps> is he gonna be sick? Look after Noelle, alright? That'd be, wow. Okay. Let's do the same. Yeah, sure. Grumble all you want, Rouge. Oh, now where are you going? Seems to well still hasn't come. Did something happen, I wonder? Oh, probably. Hey, Ash! You going somewhere? Have a nice time! Thank you. Thank you, Charlie. Debating it. Oh, hun. no! Why? Why? Why does this? I hate it. Why do I? Um, Noel. Oh. Seeing him like this. Hush. Snow? What? What is happening? Oh, come on! <laughs> Claire, go find him! Go get your man! So Ash never came back after going to call Noelle, did he? Well, everybody's already eaten everything, so too bad. Oh, yeah, Claire! How about the rest of that story from earlier? Oh, yes! I got some preparations to make first. We'll be starting right, able to start right away, so go kill some time. Understood. Okay, opportunities. 
for crystals. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Opportunities for crystals are good. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and save here. I'm not ending, don't worry. I've only been playing for 50 minutes, but in case- is this a place where I can- You're looking a little better. Did you need me for something? We talk. Yes. We still couldn't leave today. Indeed. I'm having strange dreams. I feel- so I feel restless to boot. Dreams? It's not as if it relates to you. Maybe it does, but I have no right to tell you about it. <laughs> please never change, Sirius. Well, I mean, you can change a little like Lady Dorothy wanted, but like, please don't actually ever change. You are perfect. Okay, guess we'll go in the painting. See if we can get some rainbow crystals. Via, what were we gonna do? Oh, we were gonna go to the, um, the thing. Let's check down here real quick. Just while we're here, it's gonna be a sharp, loud noise. Forgot to turn the volume down. Okay, yep, wow, this is real great. A really great space. Okay, the going up noise definitely isn't as bad. But, like, I like the volume to be loud so that, like, I can hear all the music and get really immersed, and then it's, like, that really sharp noise that just, like, ah! Oh! Every time. Mystery fossil. Yes, we do. That's fine. I would love to get to Noel everything, but... This is... A square fossil, it seems. Well, then, we shall trade you this purple stone. Amethyst junk. Okay, that is also relatively useless. Triangle fossil. Okay, a thousand coins. That's not great. Comrade fossil? Clear stone? Oh, diamond. Dang. Okay, square fossil. Let's see. Um, I guess we can sell some of our stuff. Oh, we still have one more. Okay. Because I guess we don't really need the diamonds. As much as I would love to give them all to Sirius, I would also really like a picture of Sirius. Triangle fossil. Okay. Thanks, mate. Hello. Okay. You're quite frankly horrifying. Let's see. Can I? Oh, hi. Hi. Zizel. Are you not in here? How do we find Zizel? Hey, Willardo. What's up? Hello. Good evening. Ah, uh, Claire. What is it? Let's talk. We still weren't able to leave today. That's right. We just have to do something. But right now, it feels like we can't do anything. Yeah. Ash? Well, yeah, no, doll Ash isn't gonna be in here. Ash is in some other dimension. Doing something. Man, where would Cicel be? Oh, no. No. Hello, Shumi. Da da. Okay, Lady Charlie's place is open. Our flower friend is here. Hello. Okay, so we don't have any flowers right now, then. That's a shame. Especially since our watering place is now gone. That's so irritating. I guess we could water a couple. Alright, how many do we have? We have... Five. I'm hoping that's enough. I'm gonna water one more just in case. Yes! Nice. Now that we've done that, let's go bring them to Lady Rouge. Wait, what's this one? Is this the normal one? Okay, this is the normal one. Hello! Oh, did you want something? Yes. I'm gonna give her three. Well, so you do have some sense. Roses are beautiful, just like myself. Yay! Alright, two more. Nice, let's go check. See if that got us it. I will be very annoyed if it didn't. But, like, I don't want to have to do... To make too, too, too many flowers, because we also need flower- or I don't want to use all the flowers automatically, because we gotta use the flowers for the flower person, because we need rainbow crystals! So, I'm gonna go ahead and run back. And double check. Which will make no difference to you guys, because I will cut this out. No. More roses it is. There you go. You have all my roses now. Are you happy? Oh, thank god. Everyone's max HP plus two, special gauge plus one. Okay, um, I should probably switch it to that, but I'm gonna be petty. All right, let's put our magic bottle back on. Or our pretty bottle. Magic bottle? What the heck am I talking about? Okay, and then I'll go run this one to her. Oh, there's so many of them now. Hello. 
That rose, how pretty. Give that to me, please. Of course. It's for you. Mm-hmm. No problem. Cool. Okay, two more flowers. Here you are, my dear. Yes, you may have the lavender. I also think I have a rose for you. All right. That's all our demon requests, and then you want to give me a rainbow crystal? Oh my god. You're still here? I mean, I'm not really complaining. Only slightly. Just because that's so many flowers. Sure, you can have it. Oh, thank god. Okay. I think that's four rainbow crystals, so not quite enough. Guess we haven't been to the one area over here yet. Today, at least. See if there's anything new happening. Oh! Do you think... Uh, interesting. Oh, there we go. Hello, I'm gonna quickly, um, hi Sirius, I'm gonna use a moon drip just so that I don't die. I went to eat, I went to eat. I went to eat a trippy soft and mild stew. Okay, I know what you want. However, I don't think the stew is finished, but I'll have to remember that's there. Oh, hi. Again. Not a fan. All right, well then, I guess we'll go ahead and proceed. Probably the lime. So I'm gonna save and then I might come back here, depending on how far I get, and um, binge play for some money. All right, lime, you ready? Claire, I'm ready to tell next part now. What a star. Hesitantly, I say yes. Okay. Oh, but first, Claire, seems you haven't had a bath yet. Oh, yeah, you're right. There's so much going on, I completely forgot. Yeah, then let's go in together. Uh, together? Hey, it's fine, right? Fellow girls and all. Let's wash each other's backs, too. Washing each other, well, sounds like fun. <laughs> oh. Oh, and would you let me touch those? Those? Where are we going with this one? Those great, plump, wonderful, you know. You can touch mine right back, okay? Mmm. <laughs> Uh, um, what are you talking about? Because, I mean, you know, you don't get this opportunity often. Lady Ruse would never let me, I'm sure. And Charlie and Zazel aren't exactly... I'd really rather you didn't. Anyway, come on, let's go to the bath. Uh, hold on, we're clear there's no touching, okay? Lime, you better respect that. <laughs> They're so cute. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> nice and clean. That was a good bath. It was. Well, now let's resume the story. Lights, please. Okay. Purple light. Oh, I'm scared. Let's go. Claire. Mm. Serious? Um, well, I... I thought you were a little more thoughtless. Huh? Uh, no, that's not it. Uh... Well, I guess... Is this my fault? No, no, it's not my fault, right? At any rate, please bring back that usual idiotic face of yours, understand? Serious, we need to teach you how to apologize. <laughs> so that was not it. That was adorable, but it was not it. <laughs> oh, this is my- that's- that's adorable. Oh my god. 
Girly, you need to teach him how to apologize. Serious, you buffoon. That roundabout phrasing is too much. Miss Dorothy, they'll hear you if you make noise. Ah, no worries. I think it might be best if I say something now, actually. Huh? L Lady Dorothy! Granny! <laughs> Serious, can you really not be honest and say I was worried because you were feeling down? Y you were? N n no, it's not like I was worried. No, I, I don't think it's to that extent. Then what were you being all fidgety about in my room earlier, hmm? I'm gonna explode! Sorry, that was really high-pitched. It's like 10 o'clock at night. Oh my god. <sighs> you were concerned, right? About Claire? N no Well, um, that is... First things first, it's tiring for you, to, for you to feel awkward about each other, right? Don't be stubborn. Let's just settle this here. Patricia, this is what healthy, loving family relationships are like. I keep going back and forth between calling Patricia and Noelle and using pronouns. I hope that doesn't bother any of you. I'm not doing it intentionally. It just kind of goes, woo. Now, now, defer to me for this, all right? <laughs> They're so cute. Will you two get along for me? Yeah, I will. And serious? Well, well then, if you say so, Lady Dorothy. Hmm? I'll make a positive effort. There, there. I'm sorry, Claire, for not telling you the truth. No, it's okay. I sort of get why you couldn't tell me. Lady Dorothy apologizing?! Why can't she be real? Okay, well, I'm going back to my room. <laughs> Bye, Claire. Patricia! Claire, are we not playing today? No, I'm a little tired today. Tomorrow, though. Okay. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, honey. Claire? <laughs> Patricia! <laughs> You're crying? Sorry. It's really suddenly. I couldn't stop it. <laughs> Even though I did start to know about mom. <laughs> Even though it's not just me hurting, Sirius has to deal with the same thing. I'm sorry. No. Why are you apologizing, Patricia? You didn't do anything wrong. Patricia, it's so it's weird. It's not your fault, hun. Don't you dare! It's not your fault. Anyways, I finally found it. I'm grateful, Patricia. This time, just maybe, found a real witch. 
I will get my hands on it. On that legendary witch's heart. Long after that. Trisha disappeared from the mansion during hide and seek. And then, to follow after. Claire left the mansion in search of Patricia. <laughs> Babies. Babies. Oh wait, actually I do care about this! I lied! My disappointment was false! What is this place? <laughs> ah! I can beat them up! Finally! Holy heck, I haven't seen that in a minute. Why'd it look different? Maybe it's just been so long since I've seen it. Oh, he's so cute. Noel? A dream, was it? June 14th? Ring ringleader of witch massacres identified. The ringleader behind the series of massacres carried out by witches has been... It's two days before the day after Sirius's birthday. Right? <laughs> the ringleader behind the series of massacres carried about which has been revealed. Her name is Dorothy Elford, a witch residing deep in the mountains. True. In response to people's demands, the witch Dorothy is set to be executed. The execution is planned for June 16th. <laughs> what is this article? <laughs> Lady Dorothy, the ringleader? What is this? It's all nonsense! You didn't do anything like this! This must be Nicholas is doing. Yes, I see. This is how he leads people by the nose and forces innocent people to the wall. Lady Dorothy! Serious? Now can be done about this. <laughs> I 
I'm giving this to you. What is this? It's all the money I've saved up. You won't have to worry about staying fed as long as you have this. Take it with you. And run somewhere far away. <laughs> what will you do, Lady Dorothy? I'll remain here. If Claire comes back, she'll be in danger. I wasn't able to protect anything. Not even my own daughter. So I at least want to protect her. <laughs> you can't... She's not even worried about herself. <laughs> Lady Dorothy, I will stay with you. I don't need this money. If you want to let me escape, then please run away with me. Serious. If you're staying here, Lady Dorothy, I will remain as well. are shaking. Tell the truth. You're scared, aren't you? I am scared. I am. But I'm much, much more scared of losing you, Lady Dorothy. <laughs> oh, I'm begging you. Please let me stay with you until the end. <laughs> Serious. I'm sorry for being so spineless. Thank you. Thank you. I hate this game. I hate this game. Oh, frick you. Dorothy. Rouge. So, what happened to Claire? Is she safe? Hmm. Seems she fell down a cliff. What? She hit her head pretty hard, but it's not life-threatening. She seems she's as stubborn as you. I see. So she's alive? <laughs> Since around noon today, a kind-looking old couple has been looking after her. They seem to be nursing her, so she's probably fine. <laughs> I see. That's a relief to hear. That old hag and coot seem pretty fond of Claire, saying stuff like, I'm so glad. It's like we had a daughter. I expect no less from her. More importantly, what are you going to do? Don't tell me you intend to die together with Sirius or something. Surely not. But what would be the best thing to do? Sirius and Claire are both truly precious. <laughs> I just want to protect both of them. Well, if you keep hesitating, you're going to lose both. I know that. Of course I need to take action. Roosh. What is it? I'll use my daughter Fiona's witch's heart. <laughs> That's right, you did retrieve it at the execution that day. Is that why her hand was bloody? So, what are you wanting to use it for? <laughs> I want you to erase Claire's memories. And are you going to be fine with that? I want that girl to be happy this time. And so much of what happened here is just painful for her. <laughs> I'm sure it's better if she forgets it. Right then. 
Charlotte. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is Fiona, and you were assigned to her, right? Erase Claire's memories. Thanks. Okay, leave it to me. <laughs> Sorry for the trouble. Thank you. Well, it's just the job. <laughs> Personally, Roosh, if there's a way everyone can be saved, I want to bet on it. I'm going to leave here with Sirius tonight. I'll let you demons have the mansion. <laughs> Do as you please. Serious? <laughs> Lady Dorothy! Leave this place with me. We can leave tonight, right now. Will you come with me? Of course! <laughs> Do we need anything before leaving? No, nothing. We're short on prep time. Luckily, all my savings are here. We can use this for whatever we need. You just have to follow me. Lady Dorothy. <laughs> What's the holdup? Uh, well, Claire. Yep. <laughs> so you're worried about Claire? That's a little surprising. <laughs> no, it's not. Not to worry. She's safe. It's okay. You'll meet her again, I'm sure. that door this would be the door that the the uh, the Noel went through <laughs> oh. no no <laughs> serious could you stay here until I come get you huh you absolutely can't shout don't make a sound Dorothy. <laughs> and don't approach that magic circle behind you. It's very dangerous. If you touch it, you're done for. You might be taken to the other side. <laughs> Lady Dorothy! <laughs> I'll come back for sure. Oh, this would be the last time because that's, that's what he's been clinging on to is her. I'll come back for sure. I'll come back for sure. So be good and wait here. Well then, I pray for your success. <laughs> Seems all the troops have entered. Now let the festival begin. Trisha, shall we start it all over from here? Just you and me. Mayor Nicholas. 
Mm. You still out here? Thought I ordered you to infiltrate. Thought I'd trail behind you. But I know the truth, you know? <laughs> it's you who killed my daughter, wasn't it? We kill you, Nicholas! If you're looking to kill, be quicker on the trigger. Times like these, you lose if you hesitate. You kill them? Man, Nicholas, why? No way! Uh, so I was seen. Sheesh, what a pain this is becoming. I have no choice. Can't have them getting out, so I'll have to wor getting word out, so I'll have to kill them all. You just suffer. In the worst way possible. I don't know how much this smoke screen will daze them, but it's better than nothing. Use this tranquilizer gun. Oh god. Oh no. They're only enemies to sleep with tranquilizer. Whereas the troops also have guns, so avoid approaching them from the front. <laughs> ah! Okay. It's locked, okay. This is hard. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, this is hard. Okay. Oh, I feel like I'm pressing the right buttons, but I don't think I'm doing it right. Okay. That's four or five? I don't know. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I think there were ten. Okay. Okay. Probably back towards the front. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Okay. There should be all of them. Oh, that was hard. Okay. A little tired. No, I can't rest for too long. It's right, it's serious. Is he all right? Strangely enough, the troops I put to sleep had all vanished at some point. I had a bad feeling. Huh? What is this? Nicholas? Welcome, Witch Dorothy. You saved me some time killing everyone by putting them all to sleep. Thought I'd present it a bit distastefully. Looks more like the work of a witch this way, doesn't it? Unable to handle even a single old hag despite their numbers. Don't you suppose they're better off dead? You! Now, will you return my Patricia? No, she's here. Patricia? What is she to you?
You're disgusting. You are disgusting and vile. Screw you. She is my wife. What? Wife? I know everything, Witch Dorothy. I know who you really are. Legendary treasure that can grant any wish known as the Witch's Heart. It's your own heart, isn't it? Seems you do know everything. And what would you do with it? <laughs> it's obvious. Haven't you ever thought? This country, this world, this planet, this universe. I want it all to be mine. That's just absurd. Of course not. Not everything. If anything goes my way- If enough goes my way, then I'm satisfied. I see, I see. So you're a woman without ambition. But I, on the other hand, won't be satisfied until everything goes my way. Well, to put it simply. I feel this world is filled with too many things that are useless to me. This world doesn't need anything but myself and Patricia. I'll make this whole world belong to just the two of us. To that end, I will kill you and obtain the witch's heart. I see. You're pretty nuts, huh? Uh, really honest with myself. Wow, Dorothy, Lady Dorothy. Side Ash. Oh God. Oh, my eyes hurt. Oh, ow. <laughs> <laughs> well, has been like this ever since I found him. Like he's having a terrible nightmare. Uh, hush. <gasps> ah, Noel, you woke up. Uh, I. Oh, right. I got called to dinner. I have to go right now. What are you saying? If I might say, you certainly don't look like you could eat some dinner. Besides, everyone has long since finished eating. You should rest and not worry about it. No, I don't have time to rest. I have to go. <laughs> um, Noel, you should really rest. It's not good to push yourself. Whatever you need to do, can I not wait until you're better? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, you're gonna make this worse. <laughs> but I want to come too. Do not tell me, but <gasps> I'll bring you dinner. Please, Noel, just wait here. You sure are kind, Ash. <laughs> How are you feeling? A little better, thanks to you. Sorry for worrying you. No, no, don't concern yourself. Well then, if you'll excuse me. Oh, what's this? I made you ginger soup. Apologies for the simple meal, but it should be good for digestion. You made this just for me? Oh, this is so cute! Thanks. Oh, wow, delicious. You're a good cook, Ash. Why, anyone could make something this simple, really. Takes we could go down easy. What's this? Star-shaped carrots? Wow, how cute. I'm not very dexterous, so I'm impressed. <laughs> I just slipped into my usual habit. Habit? My little sister isn't very sturdy, so I've often made this for her. It's a bit childish, isn't it? <laughs> it's not like that at all. I'm 
I'm really happy about this. So, you're always thinking fondly of your sister, Ash. Thank you. Right! Thank you, Ash. I-I understand! Now please get to bed early tonight. Sirius is really kind too, despite how it looks. And Willardo looks cold-hearted, but I'm sure he's kind. Even though I doubted him most. No. No one. I don't want to choose either. I want us all to get. Somehow, he left with a more childish expression, impression than I was expecting. Or maybe he was just weakened because of his poor health. He kept repeating himself like a fool. Kind, kind, kind. He certainly does seem naive. The more naive a person is, the more they look away from people's true nature. Kindness alone can't protect anything, you know? You can't make me cry too, Ash. That's not allowed. I'm supposed to hate you. No. Dorothy. Oh no, I need to stop. I've been playing for two hours. <laughs> You're pretty good for an old hag. Mine isn't a tranquilizer gun. I can see in your eyes. You aim to kill me, don't you? Murder goes against my policies. But I've got something I refuse to hand over too. So I'll make an exception to kill you, even if it costs me my life. Ha ha ha! Those eyes. They're the only thing I like about you. <laughs> what? What is this carnage? It's fun, you came. Mayor Nicholas, are you okay? This is the witch Dorothy. She did all of this. She killed all of my companions as well. No, no way! What a horrible thing! Dorothy! This is the end for you, witch Dorothy. No! Ha! No, Lady Dorothy! Serious? Child? Where in the world did he? I see. So that's what you want to protect. <laughs> Lady Dorothy, why would you leave me? <laughs> no, I don't want this. Lady Dorothy, you're bleeding so much. I don't want you to die. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll always be with you. In the distant future, we'll meet again, Sirius. Oh. <laughs> Hi, 
I am a witch. Lady, Lady Dorothy. Not a human, but a monster. A monster feared by all. Hey, what is she saying? One last bit of mischief. I can do whatever I wish with you. I can even kill you on the spot. Do not delve any deeper than this. Do not approach this place. Or else I shall kill you one and all. Sheesh, finally dead. What was she intending to do just now? Mayor Nicholas, your wounds! Ugh, right. I am a bit dizzy. Or that. Don't touch him! Boy, you will hand over that old hag to me. <laughs> do you want to die? <laughs> There's the monster. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah. I agree. With whatever you're saying, I agree. I agree. What? Wh what is that thing? Don't tell me the witch Dorothy was really a monster. <laughs> what? Why? Who's us? This is us. Well now, so it's you. I've been looking all over for you. It's no fun. Feeling a bit dizzy. I'm a little tired. You don't mind if I sleep beside you, yes? <laughs> Are you... Lady Dorothy? <laughs> no, that's wrong! You aren't Lady Dorothy! <laughs> Outside. So what's there? Oh. oh. So ultimately, everybody but Sirius died. The end. And that was the tale of Sirius. Ta da! But you know, I don't think it's him you need to worry about so much. After all, whenever he kills you, it's usually more like an accident. Oh dear. Even Claire has been rendered speechless. That's how I feel. 
It's more than him. It's the other guys you need to watch out for, you know? Those guys are real trouble. They've got pretty much no buts about killing you just for their goals. And so, bam! Passing it off to Mrs. L. <laughs> Just leave it to me. I'm not ready to start. No. Well then, I'll be your storyteller for tomorrow. I will tell you about Willardo Adler. Look forward to it, Claire. I'm not right now, to be honest. That was pain and suffering. I don't want any more. Okay, good work today. You can just go to sleep now. Sweet dreams. Right. I think I'll rest for today. Good night. My head is spinning. Siri is Patricia. Granny. She wasn't a heinous witch at all. She was a very, very kind person. I feel ashamed of myself for suspecting her even a little. Even though Granny was always thinking of us above everything else. <sighs> Strong emotions welled up in me before I knew it. My pillow was wet with tears. I felt so much regret about living life without knowing any of this. <laughs> How the heck is she going to face Sirius tomorrow? You must learn, Claire. Learn. I can't, I can't play anymore. I can't do it. Can't let someone take this. Help me, please. Hey, welcome back, Patricia. Congratulations, the witch's heart you took from the Pact Maker Dorothy is now yours. So what will your wish be? I can grant any negative wish at all. Call me if you need me. I'll come see you anytime. My love, I'm so sorry. Okay, I have to stop. I have to stop. It has been two hours and 11 minutes. I have to stop. Oh my god. I, I have to. I have to stop. Willardo story. Is this going to start the Willardo story or? Because I will have to close out of the game. Yeah, I, I have to. I have to close. Okay. Literally, don't talk to me ever again, ever. I am 100% joking, but I'm in so much pain. And the fan art that I had to draw just doubled. Just doubled. Frick me getting sick last week because I have so much I needed to draw. I'm in shambles. I don't even know if I can begin to put my thoughts into words. So we might have to just do another talk session at the beginning of the next episode. Sorry to those of you who don't like those, but I can't. I hate that I was right. I hate that I was right about so many things. 
I don't hate it, obviously, and to those, to those, to anyone, I don't even care. I don't care what I'm saying anymore. Obviously, I am not, like, am I upset? Absolutely. Am I genuinely, oh my god, I hate this game, I wish, it, absolutely not. If that wasn't obvious enough. If anybody needed clarification, this is one of the greatest games I've ever played. I'm loving every second of it. Thank you to every single person who recommended this to me. I just will uh, hate you forever. Once again, that's a joke. But, anyways, um, yeah, I'm gonna go cry for a couple hours now, forever now, for the rest of my life now, for ever. Things off the top of my head. Ah! Uncontrollable sobbing. Serious. Lady Dorothy! Patricia! Wow! Oh, oh. Claire! I hope that gives you enough of a representation of where I'm at. I want to throw something really violently. I need something to squish. Just like really aggressively. This is why I need the witch's heart plushies. I didn't order them. I wanted to, but I got confused. I need to squish them. Yeah, that, that's it. That's all I can say. Um, the, the dynamic... Uh, Ash and Noel, that was really cute. My heart is breaking for Claire at the end. That was adorable and also heartbreaking. Heartbreaking, 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 heartbreaking. Yeah, um, I might ramble in the Discord. I'll probably ramble it. I'll probably scream in the Discord, to be honest. Um, so if you want to see that, link is in the description of this video or the about page of my channel. I can link you to my screaming when you if you join. And other than that, I hate all of you. Not really. But I'm gonna go, and I'll talk to you all later. That's not my outro. If you want to talk to me about this game, we already did the Discord plug. Who cares anymore? Um, I would love to have you there for more reasons than just me screaming, but that's the main reason right now. So, uh, without further ado, I'm gonna go cry. Thank you guys so much for watching and for all your support on this series. It's literally been one of my favorites ever, and you guys have been the most- one of the most fun communities ever. Like, each game I play has different fans who interact with the videos and the series itself in different ways, and I love all of them individually, but this has definitely been one of my favorite audiences ever. You witches art fans are the best. Because like, y'all act like I'm treating you, but y'all are treating me. So yeah, I I'm gonna go. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time for more pain and suffering. Bye!